How's it going and welcome to this video where I'm going to be doing something a little different. This week, uh, two weeks, half month, um, fortnight. This fortnight I decided to take a break from the chamber and work on a project I started a while back. But first a little backstory. About two months ago I became very interested in simulating evolution and natural selection. I'd been exploring YouTube for similar projects, namely the Bibbits, some of Primer's videos, and this video by Sebastian League. I couldn't help but want to make something similar myself. And so, after I ran out of other people's projects to watch, the natural thing to do was to make something of my own. I wanted to make something similar to the Bibbits, minus the machine learning part, because that seemed like something that requires you to know what you're doing. That is only for nerds and professionals. I am clearly neither of those. So, I got to work on some art to start off. I drew this crayfish looking thing, kind of weird, but it'll do. Next, I wanted a predator-prey relationship, so I needed to find something that crayfish ate. And after a quick Google search, Google told me that they will eat anything they catch, zucchini, carrots, spinach, and fish food. Obviously, that wasn't very helpful, but there was no reason that this project had to be true to life. I could put a bear in there and it wouldn't be a problem. So I looked at images of zooplankton and used those as inspiration for this thing. It is not to scale. Though, as it turns out, crayfish will eat plankton, so that's nice. I also drew an egg for each of them because live offspring would be a little lame for this project. And I drew this food pellet thing that was completely stolen from the Bibbits, straight up copied it. Uh, I also made everything white with gray accents so that I could change the color in Unity. I got that idea from the Bibbits as well. The Bibbits was a majority of where this project came from. So go check it out after this video, of course. I began with the crayfish AI. At first I had three values, speed, sense, and this word, sati satiety. The crayfish roam around and if a food pellet gets within their sense range, it makes it its current target and if it's close enough, it will eat it. At first though, something caused this to happen at random. The crayfish would also use some food or satiety over time based on its speed and sense value. So it's more expensive to be fast and it's more expensive to see far. I fixed that little bug I showed you a minute ago and then I added a time scale slider and now I had multiple living things doing their things. It was at this point that I felt like the code I had written was too messy and unmanageable which was partly true, so I basically gave up and continued working on the chamber for a while. Then, last week, I opened up the project and got to work. I finished off the crayfish life cycle by getting its reproduction process finished. It had a mutate value, and in each generation, every trait is multiplied by a random float between one minus the mutate value and one plus the mutate value. The mutate value is also changed in the same way. Then, I made the amount of food it needed to reproduce a trait, so it would mutate. Then I gave them a max age so it would need to reproduce in order to keep its bloodline or traits in existence. Next, I created this little info panel. You could click on a creature and it would display the values of the creature's traits, as well as the satiety value, age, and generation. The small area began to get annoying, so I increased the size of the map and created a camera controller. Then I worked on adding many other traits, such as max size, how big they could get. It would give a boost to speed and sense, but cost more food. Venture distance. Their AI picks a location that's less than X units away from its location. Venture distance just controls that X value. Food passed, what percentage of food it passes off to its offspring. Litter size, how many children it has at one time. Mature age, minimum age for reproduction. Max age, the max amount of time a crayfish can live. And color. The color didn't do anything at first other than identify different breeds slash species, but it got a bigger use later. I also added some counters at the top for simulation time, the number of existing food pellets, and the number of existing crayfish, as well as a slider to adjust the max amount of food. Less exciting, but very helpful, a pause button and a restart button. With the food passed value able to change and unchecked, it was possible for a creature to evolve to pass zero food off to its offspring. This meant that the creature in question would be laying an egg every frame, creating this mess. 
To fix this, I added a check to almost every trait that forced it to be between two values. Notably, max age was limited to 10 minutes because the species wouldn't evolve much if each generation lived an hour and a half. Food passed had to be between 10 and 100%. 100% would mean that the parent kills themselves to give the offspring all of its food. Mature age had to be less than max age and more than zero. Max size was limited to four times and it couldn't go less than zero because negative values would mean the creature would gain food over time rather than use it up. I then forced them to eat each other. Whenever a crayfish spotted an egg, it would take the RGB values of that egg and itself, then turn those values into two vector threes or 3D coordinates. Then it would calculate the distance between those two points. If the distance between those values was higher than the predetermined value, like 0.4, it would set the egg as its next target and eat it if the egg didn't hatch. My final addition was the value changer, better name pending. It is a separate window that allows you to change any values within the selected crayfish script. And with that, I was ready to get the plankton set up, but I felt like it was a ton of fun to tinker with already, and I wanted to get this video out. So I've just done a, I'm going to do a little demonstration of what this looks like because I know that from the explanation I just gave, uh, it might be unclear like what this would actually do. So this has been going for about 16 hours and at a hundred times speed, it's simulated about 72 days or 6 million ish seconds. So off the bat, I'm pretty disappointed because um, we really only have one color. I mean, there is a little bit of variation, like these guys are a little darker than these guys. And these are kind of a separate, like the darker ones are pretty much a sep. like, no, they're not separate. They're the same species. Uh, speed has gone down a lot. Um, Originally, when I did this the first few times, this was 100 across, the ma like the total area, and now it is 150. And with the speed increase, not speed increase, um, distance increase, uh, and same amount of food, the food is a little more spread out, and that actually seems to make speed less important and sense more important. Um, not sure why that is but speed has gone way down sense has gone way up and size has gone up it seems like size always goes up uh venture distance also has gone really far down for whatever reason not sure why that is um they're also they have uh kids very fairly early i think the uh, the base that it starts with is 150, so it's about been cut in half. Um, the amount of food passed to offspring hasn't changed much. It starts at 66, and it's on, some of them have gone up, some of them have gone down. Yeah. Um, litter size hasn't gone up. Oh, this guy has two. That's awesome. I've been really trying to figure out how to cultivate if that's the right word, some creatures that have large litters, but just doesn't like to happen. Uh, mutate all like the mutate rate always goes way down because then they're more stable. Um, age always goes up. Had to put a cap on it, like I mentioned, and at generation fifteen thousand. They're probably all fairly close. This guy's a generation old. This guy's kind of old. No, I don't know. I wonder what they're doing. This are they? Oh, <laughs> all right. This guy looks really dark. He's got a lot of food to himself too. You go. Why is his food going down? Okay. Oh, he laid an egg. 
Now this guy's coming to steal the food. Should see a little baby one pop out, shouldn't we? Yeah. Oh no, the egg would have killed itself. Because there were too many in existence. Oh, this guy's got a litter of five. That's exciting. I want to follow you. <gasps> oh. He laid two eggs, and, or five eggs probably, and only two la lived. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. oh, they all died. Let's turn the amount of pellets up. Ah, oh, he died. Of old age, though, because he laid an egg. Alright. Well, that's... That's it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more like this. And goodbye, nerds.